For millions of years, a small island lay undisturbed in the South Atlantic Ocean. With stunning natural beauty, it was only discovered in 1502. Despite being claimed by the Dutch in 1633, British settlers and slaves arrived in 1659 to make it their home. Its strategic importance meant the Dutch attempted to retake it in 1673, but were fought off by a last-minute arrival of British troops. It has remained British ever since. More settlers arrived, with the population containing a mix of settlers from Britain, India, Southeast Asia, and Madagascar. Jamestown has been called the quintessential Atlantic port, the high street containing one of the best examples of unspoilt Georgian architecture anywhere in the world. There's even a staircase with 699 steps called Jacob's Ladder, built for a railway and now connects Jamestown with the small village Half Tree Hollow. The island has welcomed many important visitors, most famously Napoleon during his exile after his loss at Waterloo. He spent the last years of his life on the island, dying in 1821, and his body was returned to France by request in 1840. Other famous visitors include Napoleon's nemesis, the Duke of Wellington, as well as Charles Darwin and a young Queen Elizabeth II. In 2002, on the 500th anniversary of its discovery, St. Helena was granted full British citizenship. The island is also home to Jonathan the Tortoise, who was presented as a gift in 1882 and is thought to be over 190 years old. He spends his time grazing the lawn of Plantation House. With a diverse history encompassing liberated Africans, Zulu royalty, 6,000 Boers, and three Bahraini princes. Over the centuries, a unique culture has grown amongst the St. Hellenians. Friendship and community is the soul of the island, with everyone taking pride in its traditions and cultures. <laughs>